Right back in this video, man. Hey, man, we got, uh, would she cheat on her boyfriend with a man, that man? The UDY gold digger test, man. Hey, man, look, man. Y'all know we came here to do, man. Y'all know we didn't come to do, man. We came here to get straight to the point. What we didn't come to do, man, is all that other stuff, man. With that being said, man, let's drive the video. Let's do it. This is girlfriend, Dari, to the test. The test is going to be taking place here at this beautiful home in Hollywood Hills. Chris's job is to bring his girlfriend here, and Tony's job is to test her loyalty. Right. Chris, do you think that your girlfriend will trade you for a more successful guy? I mean, I hope not. <laughs> I mean, shit. Why he put on the test it, 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 if he ain't feel like she would, you know what I'm saying? He can't, she can't be trusted from the beginning. It's not a good look. <laughs> How about we give her a call though, make sure that she's even still down to come. Is Chris's girlfriend a gold digger? Today we set up an elaborate test to help What him made him want to put her on this test though? Hello? Hey babe. Hey. How you doing, just woke up? Mm. Okay, cool. Um, I was just want to make sure that you still cool with seeing the room today. Check it out. Yeah, I'm still down. Um, I'll come pick you up like an hour, so. All right, sounds good. All right, see you later. Chris has convinced his girlfriend's Ari to come check out a spare bedroom in this home. You see, Tony is pretending to be Chris's friend that lives here who is ready to rent out the room. This is the bedroom that Tony's gonna be offering you. Remember, Chris, in this room, you gotta act broke, okay? You're basically the antithesis of this man here. That won't be that hard. <laughs> <laughs> so why do you wanna push your girlfriend to a test? Just wanna make sure she's loyal. I wanna take your relationship to the next step. She has all these guys in her DMs. Let's see how easily yeah. I can be <laughs> like, so. Hopefully not that easy, bro. Hopefully not that easy. That's why I wanna do this test. The she got she you for me and doesn't let the finance get in the way. You don't got time to waste, bro, with somebody who just wants to use you for what you can give them. Chris has told right. his girlfriend that he's willing to move into Tony's spare bedroom, but he supposedly wants her opinion on the place first. After going over our plan one last and final time, we sent him on his way to retrieve her. Appreciate it. Alrighty, Chris. Yeah, we'll see you. All that was left to do now was set everything up and send Ken to Starbucks. I more of his role later. I wanted to be set up in this room because of that, guys. We get a view of the Hollywood sign. How beautiful is that? My girlfriend, she likes a lot of harder things in life. She has an expensive taste, and I'm not financially kind of like stable at the moment due to my work. Would you say that you're striving to like yeah, make more money or course, whatever? Of course, um, I just want to give her a great life. To hear that you want to give her the best, it's like, that's beautiful, bro. You want to make sure that she's really in your corner. You only want to ride with somebody who's really down for you, so we're in this together, bro. Oops. Oh, here we go. Got a text. Oopsie. Perfect. Oops. 10 minutes out. After waiting for almost an hour, Chris was finally 10 minutes away. We were behind schedule, but nonetheless, this test was a go. Yo, yo, what's good? Here we go. Tony's receiving a call. All right, bet. I'm coming out. No, you straight, bro. Come to the top of the drive, man. Chris had arrived, and as planned, he parked at the end of the drive so that he could walk up with Ari. We wanted her to take in the house and the view. Chris has successfully brought his girlfriend over. Perfect. Our plan is in full swing now. What up? What up, brody? My girl, Ari. Uh, nice to meet you, Ari. I think she's honestly gonna love the view of the Hollywood sign. You like the crib so far? Nah, that motherfucker is decent. Nah, bro. <laughs> nah. Look, like the inside is way better. Just take it in, look at the spot. I'll give you a tour and, you know, there, come this way. Personally, I didn't design it. I picked out some stuff I liked. Like, I had an interior designer help me with most of it, for real, for real. Okay, we got a laundry room right here. Tony begins showing off his immaculate home. He will spend the next 20 to 30 minutes giving the couple a tour. Oh, this is the living room. Damn, that bitch, that big it take 20, 30 minutes to give a tour? Sheesh. Yeah, you go crazy, bro. Really nice. Uh, here, we'll, we'll look at that in a second. Let me show you Sheesh. Back Before showing off the view, Tony shows off the rest of the house. This would take a minute, but we wanted to demonstrate Tony's wealth and, of course, make everything believable to Ari. Since we have time to kill, let's check in on Ken. He's been at Starbucks for quite some time now. There, come on. The view go crazy, bro. Is this a pool? <laughs> yeah, there's a little infinity Girl, pool. Girl, what is this going to be? Here too? Yo, yo. Yo, yo. How you doing? Dude, I'm not going to lie. I'm getting kind of bored here. I feel like you have time to watch a movie or jump on Netflix or something. Yeah, I want to watch the show on Netflix, but let me be honest, the reception out here is pretty bad. And I don't want to connect to the public Wi-Fi. Do you not have ExpressVPN, bro? What's ExpressVPN? Oh. <sighs> Every time oh my I'm god, oh my god, go get Express VPN. It'll help you out so much. Go get it, go get it, go get it. So I just had to open it. Go get it, go right? get it. This would be you if you move in, bro. Yeah, this is you. Come on, your carpet. Nah, bro. I just got it furnished. The whole house furnished. The interior designer was doing her thing. I let her do it. Tony finally showed off his quote unquote spare room. This bathroom's a little bit bigger, though, for real. And the one in the middle is a full dresser. And anything you don't like, we could throw out, get rid of it, it's straight. It was finally time to start building Chris's excuse to exit the scene. Step one, offer him the room and a job. Hey, Andrew. Thank you, 
I'm gonna be honest, bro. Feel free. I pay 15k a month. I'm not gonna front. It's not. It's not cheap. Wait, wait. You pay 15 G's a month for this? Just talk to me real quick. We we might be able to work something out. What's your budget? Right now I'm paying a thousand dollars a month, but uh, I can do uh 1,200. You got any time off from your job or days off or anything? Yeah, I got like two days off. I was telling you I need an assistant. Okay. If you can come through, I give you the room for a thousand. We'll you this room for a thousand dollars. You my boy, bro. I'm looking out. You're not bullshit, right? Bro, I need you for 800 for real. If you promise you got me anything I need done, I need you to go get me my coffee. You feel me? I got these drop offs for Amazon return. Like, you <laughs> last man. <laughs> man, if you serious, do it, man. I bet, bet. I guess the only question is when you want to move in. First of all, if anything changes, if I come earlier, I'll let you know soon. This is good. Everything is going as planned so far. This is great. But uh, what y'all got going on for the rest of the day? Well, we're both pretty much free today. Uh, Not bad. You trying to kick it? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, offer to kick it and order some coffee. I think I might get some coffee or something. Either of you want some Starbucks? Yeah, I can do some coffee. Uh, do you want some coffee? Yeah, yeah bad. Coffee. I'm going to probably just door dash it real quick. But just text me your order. Okay, yeah. Uh, Chris texts Tony their Starbucks order. What Ari doesn't know is rather than ordering from DoorDash, Tony forwards the message to Ken. Time to make like T-Pain and buy you a drink. I think I'm gonna do a video when he gets here. Have you guys seen those like videos where they tip the delivery dude a bunch of money for no reason? Yeah. <laughs> Can I get a one caramel macchiato? Extra hot with five. Step three, get to know about Ari's TikTok page. Do you post or are you one of those people who just be watching? No, I make content. Okay, okay, what kind of content? Like fashion hauls. What's your page? Ari does try-ons on TikTok, and she's gotten quite popular. Tony will use this information to make his move. Okay, I see you missed 13,000 followers. You pop it. I feel like you could go far with this. Thank you. Have you thought about doing any other type of content? Like makeup tutorials or anything? I don't know. I don't know. Mm. She said that's not her thing. Yeah, no, I just like trying stuff for me. I do some content myself. Oh, really? Yeah, mainly live streaming and stuff. Step four. Make Ari believe Tony is a successful live streamer. I'm scanning for that's why I ain't talking. I'm scanning the scene. A lot of the time I just uh, do like reaction videos, talk to the camera. People yes. love that. Yeah, you feel me? Don't you have like 10,000 people like streaming on the thing? Between 10, 20,000 viewers on any live, you know? That's what's up. Yeah, I mean, try and get my TikTok like yours for real. We should do TikTok live instead. Maybe you could give me some pointers. We could collab on a video or something. Yeah, yeah. For real? Yeah. But we'll talk about it a little later. Step five, after waiting. I'm not gonna lie, see, she already fell, fo. I'm just keeping it a bean, fo. I'm not gonna lie, fo. Like, and the, the thing is, though, this is why I said she fell already, fo, because I'm sitting right next to her, see, and she said, yeah, we can do it. She ain't even acknowledging me sitting right next to her, see. She just going with the... 20 minutes or so for the coffee to arrive, tip the delivery driver, and record it. Here comes Ken. <laughs> All right, guys. We about to surprise the delivery driver. Thank you for this. Yeah, of course. All right. And then I got something for you, bro. What is this, social media? This is yours. Take all of it. All of it? All of it. Are you serious? I'm dead ass. Oh my God. That's you. Wait, are, are you sure? Somebody had to get blessed today, and it just so happened to be you. We giving out blessings Shit. today. Can I give you a hug? Of course. Oh, fucking hair tickling my neck and shit. <laughs> Loki kind of crazy. Tony tipped Ken a thousand dollars, or at least that's what we made Ari think. You really just tipped him a thousand dollars? Yeah. Fake pay. Damn, bro, you got it like that. That's why they had him do it because it's fake pay. You get a lot, you gotta give a lot. You feel me? Tony will soon come to regret this thousand dollar tip. Step six. Notice the drinks are incorrect. Those aren't the right drinks. Nah, man, I think they're they got a order wrong. Neither of your drinks is in. No, it's because I know this is not mine. Bro, you lying. What Ari doesn't know is that Ken placed two orders. The first is what the trio actually ordered, and the second are just three random drinks. Let me see if he's still down here for sure, bro. They didn't get nothing right now. <laughs> this now takes us to step seven. Fail to get a hold of the delivery driver. Straight your voice, man. Just request a refund. Yeah. No, I, I mean, yes, but I just paid dude $1,000, and he for real just gonna blow me off like that? I'm not worried about the video, it's the principal. And finally, step eight. Chris will offer to replace the drinks. How far is Starbucks? It's like 10, 15 minutes. Man, I'm just go to Starbucks real quick. I'll exchange it, get your money back, and take care of it. Bro, he can't no. get his $1,000 tip back. That's what he's worried about. 
You don't even gotta do all that, though. If you got a video, you don't get your views. We at least get the drinks right. We can do that, right? I hear you, but if that's the case, we all might as well just go. Nah, look, I'm gonna be your assistant, right? Right? True, true, true. true. Okay, then. Well, look, you gotta trust me. You gotta let me do my thing. You it's not that I don't trust you, bro. I know you can do your thing with switching some coffee. Look, what I'm saying is, if I have you there, what's the point of me? <laughs> Sit here. Let me go take a coffee back. It's only gonna take me like 20 minutes. It's not gonna take that long. Hey, by the time what's called you try to call him back, I'm already gonna be back. I mean, I gotta let you spread your wings. <laughs> That's what you wanna do, bro. Look, let them know that they need to double check their orders better. The driver's not answering. Like, really? I texted him twice. They don't She's talking about, like, really? I called him three times. He, he probably took the day off after that. Right. Damn, that did. If it's going straight towards you. I'll just go right there. I'll be right back. All right? No, no, no. She like, man, I don't want to stay with folks. Right, I'm gonna take care of you. Look, it's fine. You can, you can chill here with me. All right. <laughs> he is rambling. We set Chris up to make a quick, clean, and smooth exit, but his nerves and anxiety definitely got to him and almost jeopardized the mission. Okay, mission accomplished, but this is awkward now. Well, I guess he really just left. I guess so. <laughs> He's a good guy, for real. Probably gonna make a great assistant. You good? I'm okay. I don't know. Like, You're not sorry he left you, are you? No, it's just weird. I don't know why he didn't want me to go. Right. Wanted to feel responsible, I guess. You feel me? I don't know. I guess. <laughs> He'll be back in like 20 minutes. It's straight. Oh, if you want, we could go upstairs. You want to check out the view again? Sure. <laughs> oh, man. Ladies first. Yeah. The stream does well though, so it pays for itself. What? For the most part, Ken has been outside this entire time. And then Man, I, I stream, I invest in cryptos and things of that nature. Like yeah. Hold on. It's the city. I don't, I'm not sure. You're not from here? I'm not. All of this downtown LA to me. <laughs> I'm just happy to be out here. We've set Tony up with a perfect scenario to make his move. There's your headphone right there. The moment of truth has finally arrived. I was being serious. Question is, though, how he gonna sneak back outside for to act like he coming through the front door again if they inside already? Hmm. That's only one way to find out. TikTok and, you know, doing something together. <laughs> or maybe we could work on something. I told you, like, I'm new to this. So, like, I have my account for a couple of years. So, mm -hmm. I only gained, like, five or six K off of clothing hauls. How many videos do you think it takes people to get a thousand followers usually? Okay, true. Sure exactly. You got a perspective. I it don't take you long. got a lot of potential. This so consistency. No, no, it's, it's definitely something. You know, originally, here, come this way. I wanted to make this a content house. Oh, really? Yeah, you know what that is, right? Yeah. The plan was to get the crib, move a bunch of people in. And just go dumb shooting. I mean, I don't know if I want to live with a bunch of people. Facts. <laughs> you might be right. You might be right, honestly. Might need to let you move in here. Don't play with me. I'll get on that in a heartbeat. Who's playing? I'm so serious. I'll have my. know if I could have you and your man both living here. Why not? But it can be a little bit crowded sometimes. I mean, imagine the content you can make here, though. You got the nice little pool. You could do bikini hauls and different beach outfits. You know what I mean? That would yeah, be that'd cute. Be nice. you know, with the Hollywood sign right here in the background. She's getting too close. But I mean, look. Is the Hollywood sign right up? I don't think so. How don't you know? You've been living here for three months. Don't you don't come out here? I don't know, for real. I, <laughs> yes. It do light up, don't it? <laughs> At night time. It do light up. I'd be like, yeah, it does. Or no, it doesn't. Uh, you cold? Yes, I'm freezing. <laughs> I'll get you a jacket. Thank you. Tony grabs Ari his jacket. He takes advantage of this kind gesture and finally makes his move. And I'll be honest for a second. Sure. I think Chris is a great guy and all, but I don't think he deserves you. <laughs> Wait, you said you don't think he deserves me? 
I don't. He's clearly out of his league. <laughs> Honestly, I find you super attractive myself. I'd love the opportunity to take you out sometime. I got a man. Mm. I know. And? What do you mean, and? And I'm telling you that clearly he doesn't deserve you. He's a nice guy and all, but I feel like you could do better. I don't think he knows what to do with you. And I'd like to show you that. So we go on a date sometime, and afterward, we could go to the Gucci store or something, get you something nice. Oh. I know dudes is lying enough to get at you every day. Yeah, but you're, but you're friends. Y'all are boys. He's about to move in. Not if you move in first. You're willing to do your boy dirty like that? Back though. For me. Clearly, you're worth a cool to cat. Back though. You don't a thousand even. percent. This judge just said, Am I worth it? How the fuck am I supposed to know if you're worth it or not? I don't even know you from a can of paint, baby. And this nigga gonna say a thousand percent. Ah, oh, man. Ah, oh, man. Ah, oh, man. What the fuck? This nigga said a thousand percent. Don't even know this girl. Well, for one, you're beautiful. That don't mean that goes without saying. Whatever. You cute. I'm cute. This <laughs> you is cute. Stop. We could be cute together. Stop. You feel me? She just need to say no. Instead of standing here looking at the Hollywood sign, we could be watching the sunset in Bali. You been to Dubai? How did we go from Bali to Dubai? Two different places. Both of them we can go. <laughs> but nah, for real, I think you was a straight pay couple. Nothing but pay. I know. She using straight. So, I mean, he using straight pay. Imagine this. No vibes. Me and you. No nothing. Just straight pay. It's all about the money. It's all about the money. We gonna go to Bali, Dubai. I'm gonna take you to the Gucci store. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do that. It's all about the pay. It's all about the pay. Put TikTok on. Take out there. You feel me? We be a crazy couple on there. Oh wait. Oh. <laughs> all right. How about we just start like this? You just give me your number, and I'll hit you up, set up a date sometime, I'll take you out, get something to eat, and go shopping, like I said, and show you a good time. I'll give you my number, but I don't know about the getting to know you part. Whoa, 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 whoa. So you will give him your number, but you don't know about the getting to know you part. So what are you giving him your number for, my baby? So basically, what she doing is to, to, to gain, if he don't know, she lining up his replacement, for. So whenever they get into it, just know she got another nigga ready to cram her shit. I'm telling you, folks, she just lining up his replacement. Because if she says she don't know about the getting to know you part, but she says, I'm going to give you my number. So whenever him, whenever her and him get into it, oh, yeah, that's one of her replacements. That's one of his replacements through the door. Back door. Why not? Back door. She won't give him your number, though. So, that's what I'm telling you, folks. She lining your replacement up, see? So if she start acting weird or anything like that, just know. Folks, yeah. Oh, photo. At the end yeah. of the day, it's yeah. about you and what you want. And if you want me, she don't even know crazy. you, gang. This house, <laughs> it's all yours. I asked if I could speak honestly. I appreciate you for giving me the freedom to do so. I won't keep pressing the issue. Just know, you're welcome here. When My shit is so fucking bad. And you can use the house to shoot content, regardless of taking me up on this offer. Should we go inside? Oh, of course. Great. It's cold out here. I just hope you're not uncomfortable at all. That's all okay, I'm saying. I'm what you thinking? I don't like that she took his number. Mm -hmm. Nigga, she lining up your replacement. I mean, she rejected him a lot, but I don't know. <laughs> I definitely feel She lining up your replacement, man. Actually, here, look. You can use this blanket. Here, sit down. I'm thinking that, like, because she knows I'm coming back. She doesn't want to try nothing. You think that's what it is? <sighs> I think she's... Uh, Initially, she sounded like she was gonna go for it, but she did bring you up. She did give him her number, though. It's about the vibe, even though it's like a no, it still kind of feels like a yes. Why give you a number if you didn't like it? You ain't, it feels Nick, like I, I just trip she off lined at that replacement, boy. Like, nah, like, you should, because something, this vibe definitely going on. You want something to drink? Uh, some juice or something? Oh, okay. All right, bet. Yeah, he's supposed to have the Starbucks. Oh, okay. 
I mean, it's your man. Check on him. Maybe it's a fake number. That's kind of true, actually. Maybe she just yeah. gave him her number just to like get him off her back. I mean, I don't think you should be giving anyone your phone number like that. Honestly, uh, that's your call at the end of the day. I mean, I, I get what you're saying. It makes sense what you're saying. Yeah. Because low key, it was not a like, nah. I mean, if you want to continue this test too, we can continue the test. He can hit her up in three days or two uh, days or something and be like, think, hey, let's like, try this. this. I have a, I drive her home. Mm -hmm. And then we'll have the decoy car one more time. And, and like ask her out. Yeah, ask her out. Time. If she says yes, then hey, she ain't the one for me. But if she says no, then hey, man, I'll give her the benefit of the doubt. Okay. You wouldn't want to wait like a week or no, like a couple of days? I don't want to have, have to wait for something up. a couple of days to see if she's loyal. I want to get over with. I mean, yeah, we could definitely do that. We could definitely do that. Do that. Do that. Okay, let's make it happen. Chris needed some more reassurance that Ari was truly loyal, but he didn't want to keep the test going. Instead, he opted for a simple phone call. What up, bro? Oh, snap. Good luck, bro. So the plan now was for Chris to make up an excuse to leave and drop Ari off. Oh, it's nice to meet you, Ari. Oh, remember. <laughs> work together? What you mean? We were talking about working together. Oh, the TikToks, yeah. Maybe she didn't cheat because that's his boy. Maybe she didn't cheat because she knew that he was coming back. Or maybe she didn't cheat because she's loyal. Bro, if it was me, I'd say she folded. You, you think she folded? I got her number, bro. I yeah, yeah, number. that's a... Those little giggles, bro. She didn't tell me to stop. She said, I have a man. Uh, she's going for it, bro. She's yeah. going for it. It's, she knew he was coming back. He was thinking it was like more because you're his boy. Yeah. Um, but that if it was a random dude and under yeah. different circumstances, she would have completely. He already said it's not a pass though, did he? He's more leaning on the side that it's not a pass. Yeah. But at the same time, he says that he wants to give her the benefit of the doubt. All right, so we're giving her the benefit of the doubt. <laughs> we're gonna do the last little straw to break the camera's back. Yo, yo, so what's the deal, yo? So I just dropped her off right now. I'm around the corner, so uh, let's make this happen. Okay. <laughs> How was it on the ride home? Awkward? It was, uh, you know, we just talked a little bit, you know, straight, but um, I'm trying to keep it cool face, but, you know, it's cool. it is it is what it is. Did she bring anything up? Did she tell you that Tony was hitting on her and stuff? She just basically said, um, he was cool. I said, what you guys talked about? She was like, really nothing about more like TikTok content and stuff like that. Oh, that's bad. That's super bad. Yeah. That's I mean, super I bad. That's bad. I don't know. Do you think that's bad? Nah, that's super yeah, bad. She's probably trying to save face a little bit. Then nah, really that's bad. The spot if he was really about to move in, mm, it's hard to call it. You feel me? Yeah. All right. All right what, what you think, Chris? Call her now or wait till she gets settled? We'll just do it right now. All right. Okay. All right, Michelle. There you go. Stand, stand by, Chris. You hear that, Chris? That's a good sign so far. So far. <laughs> she doesn't know the number, though. I got her. She didn't get mine, so. You want to text her? Like, hey, it's a... Uh... As we try to get a hold of Ari, I want to know your guys' thoughts on this test. Was this a pass or a fail to you? Let me know before Was you hear the phone call. Was it a pass or a fail to me? Shit. 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 She definitely failed, bro. She failed to me. You giving your number out, my baby. You just lining up your replacement. That's all that means to me. She failed like a motherfucker. Because what happens next may actually surprise some of you. Hello? Hey, what's up? What's up? Not much. It's Tony. Oh, hey. Uh, just was calling to see if you made it home safe. Yeah, I got home safe. Bet, bet. Crystal with you? All right, bet, bet. Well, uh, I just wanted to call again and just check about what we were talking about earlier, you know. I offered to take you out. And just to know that you know that offer is still staying. Oh, my God. Look, look, I know, I know. I sound like a broken record, I know. But this is my last time asking, you feel me? If it's a no, it's a no. I'll bow out gracefully. I promise. Ah, she. Will you go out with me? One she time going. At the dinner. If you want, we can go shopping. I already put the offer on the table. We can see where the night takes us. She going. Honestly, I have stuff to do. Like I can't today. Not today, my baby. Anything about today. Not so today, my baby. I got time. Okay, well, I'll, I'll let you know then. So that's a yes. Yeah, it's a yes. <laughs> I told you, foe. I.
Nigga spelled committed wrong. I told y'all though, folks, she was lining up the replacement, folks. Damn. Damn. Tough, that's tough, my boy. That's tough. <laughs> uh, yeah, like you said, I'm persistent. Look, if you do, hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. What the, f what the f is this? Oops, hold on, you're on mute. My bad, bro. Why are you accepting dates? What the f are you doing? What? Oops, I mean, you call this loyal? Man, you know who the f this is? You accepting dates? I'm here too, yes. Okay, well. I mean, this is called loyal? I don't know what the you're talking about. Like, you're trying to talk about. I'm talking about, bro, you literally. Look at her, look at her. She manipulating the situation. She manipulating the situation. I have to, because you accepted the date by somebody else. What are you talking about? What do you mean? Like, what do you mean? Bro, I'm here and here. Look on everybody. This is a whole test. We all just checking on you. Manipulation. It doesn't matter. You uh, top tier gaslighter. Why are you He's supposed to get together. Right now. He's doing his She's job. gaslighting the about, fuck out this, this nigga. He getting okay. gaslighted. Okay. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, yeah, what you mean? Okay. She clicked. She clicked. Up, she clicked. Man. I'm sorry, my G. I'm sorry, I had to go out like that, but. I mean, the whole reason you was doing this is because you didn't have me, feel me, complete trust in it. So, at least you knew before you went further. You good, bro? Yeah, I'm good. I mean, like, don't don't don't, don't stress it too much. I should have held back a little bit. Nah, hell yeah, nah. Like hell yeah, nah. Nah, you're good, Chris. Nah, you're good, bro. If you wanted to, if you wanted to end this, you could, you're good. You're good, bro. You're good. Yeah, no, I'm good. I mean, I, hey, look, I heard enough. I freaking heard everything I needed. I mean. I knew it, man. I called it, man. So it is what it is. There's plenty more fish in this sea, so you just keep on swimming. Let her keep on digging. Yeah. It's kind of tough, though, because she probably still hit up folks for sure. Like, my fault. She probably still hit up folks. Like, so you still trying to go on that date? On B. I'm telling you, back though.